Hey, Tommy from the Run Testers. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at two shoes. I'm going to be comparing the Saucony Triumph 19 with the Asics Nova Blast 2. Let's take a look. The Asics Nova Blast 2 costs £130 or $130, weighs in at 271 grams or 9.6 ounces for men in a size 8, and the drop is 8 millimeters. The Saucony Triumph 19 costs £145 or $150, it weighs in at 286 grams or 10.1 ounces for men in a size 8, and the drop is 8 millimeters. The ASICS Nova Blast 2 is the follow-up to the popular Nova Blast and features updates to the heel for stabilisation, modifications to the flight foam blast midsole foam to be softer with an increased rebound, an updated outsole for greater responsiveness, improved tongue fit and a wider base to add stability when landing. It's a shoe designed for comfort and cushioning over training miles, built to tick a lot of boxes for runners looking for an all-rounder shoe that will handle training at different levels. The Triumph 19 is the latest in Saucony's long line of cushion shoes designed for runners who want comfort and a plush ride but still want to be able to take things up a notch for faster training sessions. The midsole is made from Saucony's Power Run Plus foam, a material that balances softness with a light springy feel, making it a versatile shoe for runners who like a bit of bounce. There's an updated mesh upper built to feel supportive and comfortable while still adding a good level of breathability and that's partly due to Saucony's form fit design that aims to lock the foot in place without feeling too restrictive. There's also an updated rubber outsole to improve durability and grip as well as a range of colorways. So the fit for me in the Triumph 19 is true to size I think this is a really comfortable shoe. It's quite generous in the forefoot and the midfoot. It's a very plush shoe. There's a lot of cushioning around the collar section. So, um, and I had no issues at all when wearing it from day one. So yeah, fits true to size, very comfortable. The Nova Blast 2 also fits true to size for me, although it is a slightly narrower shoe. The thing that a lot of people mention about the Nova Blast 2 is that it seems to be longer than most other shoes. So when you put it side by side with another shoe, it does seem like it's almost half a size to a size bigger. But in fact, stick to true to size because that narrow um, section in the midfoot and the forefoot, if you do go down a size, you're gonna notice that more um, when, you, when you wear the smaller shoes. Um, but overall, it fits true to size for me and I had no issues at all. So both of these are running shoes that I really like, but for quite different reasons. On paper, both of them just look like heavily cushioned daily running trainers. And in many ways they are, but the way that the cushioning works in both of them and the way that the shoes feel is very different. And I, I use both of these shoes for very different purposes. The Triumph 19 is a shoe that is just designed to give you many, many miles, whether that's long distance or whether that's high mileage over multiple days of running in comfort and reliability and it does that really well the power on plus midsole foam that sits in the triumph 19 i think is a fantastic foam and it just feels it has a nice level of cushioning it it's quite soft but not too soft um, and it just deadens that impact and when you finish doing a long run whether that's 10k up to marathon training it just feels like your legs are kept fresh and they're just protected from, from that um, impact. It's not necessarily a very versatile shoe. It That that Power Run Plus midsole foam does a great job at sort of longer, more comfortable miles. But when you start picking up the pace, it's not amazing at it. It's not, it's not bad. I have used this for not so much tempo efforts, but more sort of long distance efforts where I wanna go a little bit faster. And it does a good job at that. But as soon as you start training at faster paces in this, it just doesn't really have that sort of versatility that you probably want from a shoe that can do tempo training and even and even race day. The Nova Blast 2 also has a big wedge of cushioning that sits in the midsole, but the FF Blast material that it uses is, it's a, it's a foam that's used in some of ASIC's faster shoes, um, and it just has a lot more versatility from the Phone that you get in the Triumph 19. It will work really well for cushioned runs and um, longer runs where you just want to enjoy the run and protect your legs. But I find with the Nova Blast and the Nova Blast 2 that the FF Blast material 
it's really conducive to running faster as well. So I've done about 250 kilometers in the original Nova Blast and probably about 100 kilometers in the Nova Blast 2 now. And it's just a great option if you want to go out and you want to change the pace that you're running at or just have one pair of shoes and do all of your training miles in it, even up to race day. Some of the other run testers might say it's probably not great for race day. It can do it, but it's not one of the best options out there. But I think if you just wanted one pair of shoes, this, the Nova Blast 2, could actually do everything from really long, slow training miles all the way up to race day. The upper in the Triumph 19, like the midsole foam that sits in it, is just really comfortable. It's a very plush ride. Um, to be honest, I barely even notice the upper when I'm running in these, which is a good thing, which is what you want from a shoe that you're gonna be doing a lot of miles in. It just feels very comfortable. It hugs the foot nicely. There's a lot of space in it. It's fairly generous, so it doesn't feel restrictive at all, but also it doesn't feel like it's too loose and not very comfortable. So for in terms of the upper and the comfort, it's just ticks a lot of boxes for me. It's a great shoe just to go out and, and, and wear when you don't really want to worry about your feet. The upper on the Nova Blast isn't quite so good for me. I'm not a, a, a big fan of the material that they've used in this. The Asics Nova Blast 1, the upper, I really didn't like that one. It was quite rigid. It had some issues with bending the in, when you um, were running. It just felt like it was bunching up a bit and could feel a little bit uncomfortable in the forefoot. That's been rectified quite a bit in the Nova Blast 2. So it's far, far better than the original Nova Blast. But for me, I think the upper in the Triumph 19 is just a bit more comfortable. Um, it's probably also to do with that narrow fit that the Nova Blast have. Uh, it just feels a little bit more restrictive and... I find that I notice it more on the run that the, the shoe's not as comfortable as something like the Triumph 19. Another thing I notice about the midsole foam that's in the Triumph 19 is that I'm a mid to, mid foot to four foot runner and I don't often notice foam in in the front of the shoe, but with this, it feels like there's, there's more foam up at the front than you normally expect from a shoe. So I could actually feel the, the foam as I was running, whereas in most other shoes, I don't really tend to notice the foam in the forefoot. So that was quite a nice little addition to this and it does make it a little bit more comfortable on the run. It's also a very stable midsole foam in the Triumph 19. It just feels like your feet are firmly in place as you run. There's a nice thick base on it. Um, so if maybe you're a heavier runner, um, it's probably a good option for that because you've got a really firm, positioning and stable grounding on the on the floor as you're running um, and it reminds me of something like the Brooks Glycerin 19 in the fact that it's got that sort of thick firm base that just fills you with confidence when you're running. The Nova Blast 1 had fairly major issue with the midsole foam when it came to stability. It actually had quite a, a high stack of midsole foam but it was also very thin so I found that there were a lot of issues with stability in that shoe especially when you're turning corners and running at speed. <laughs> Asics have fixed that to an extent in the Nova Blast 2 so they've actually made the midsole section quite a bit wider in this shoe so it does feel a lot more stable I've not really felt any any issues with it um, since I've been running in the Nova Blast 2 but it's still not as stable as something like the Triumph 19 which has a, a much wider base on it and it just feels far sturdier when you're running in it. There's quite a bit of outsole rubber on the Triumph 19 which is really really good thing when you want a shoe that's going to last you a long time and you're doing a lot of long mileage in it. You don't want a shoe, if, you, if you're training all the time and doing a, a high mileage runs that's going to wear down quite quickly unless you've got a lot of rubber on the outside. And the Triumph 19 has loads. It's it's probably one of the most rubbered up um, running shoes that I've, I've found recently. And um, I've probably done about 50k in this shoe so far, so not loads, but there really is no sign at all of wear and tear on, on that rubber on the outside. So um, in terms of durability, it's really good. Also grips really well. It's a really nice um, grippy rubber and I've had no issues running on wet roads in the Triumph 19. There's also quite a lot of rubber on the Nova Blast 2, but it's a little bit more sparing across across the whole length of it. So it's mainly situated around the outside of the shoe. So there are quite big sections of the midsole foam, that FF Blast um, foam that are exposed. So I've only done 100K in this shoe so far. There's not really any signs of wear and tear yet, but I imagine that as it gets further, this midsole foam is going to be more affected than the Triumph 19 just because there's a lot more exposed um, foam on there. But 
as I, I've not got that far yet, so that may not be the case. And we will report back if we get to a certain distance with these shoes and find that the, there are durability issues. So my verdict on these two shoes, I think they are, if you're in the market for a cushioned option, it all really depends on what type of running you're gonna be doing. I think the Triumph 19 is a great cruiser shoe. It's like, it's kind of like an old friend that's just really reliable. Maybe somebody that drives you to work in their plush estate car. It's just there, it just does the job and in comfort and you don't you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to um, be concerned about any issues like stability or anything like that. And it really does a good job at protecting your legs after long distance running. I found that after I finished a run in the Triumph 19, it just, my legs feel really fresh. It feels really comfortable. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great option if you're only really going to be doing those sort of long um, daily mileage efforts, or you're going to be doing lots and lots of running over multiple days and you want something that's going to keep your legs fresh over that time. Um, for faster running, it can, it's okay. It will do it to an extent, but it's really never going to replace a faster shoe. And if you're looking for one pair of shoes to wear or wear one pair of shoes to buy for all of your running, this might be a bit limiting, especially if you're looking to race in the shoe. The Nova Blast 2 is a lot more versatile for me. I actually would say this shoe, if, if um, you were to buy one pair of shoes um, and you wanted to do everything from all of your training runs and slow or short distance training runs all the way up to uh, race pace and race actual races, the Nova Blast 2 is an excellent option. And I do know a lot of people that use the original Nova Blast for all of their running. It has a lot of cushioning in it so it does a great job at protecting the legs it feels really nice to do a slow run in it and when you finish it your legs feel nice and fresh looks like in the triumph 19 it doesn't have quite as much stability as the triumph 19 so if you're worried about stability this may be an issue in the nova blast 2 but at faster paces i really really like that ff blast midsole foam um and i find that it does feel like it's, it's there's a lot of bounce in it and you can go quite a bit faster when I started running in the ASICS Nova Blast 1, I didn't expect it to be that fast. And I found that I was doing a lot more of my tempo training in that shoe than I than I probably would have even thought of doing when I first when I first got it. So yes, yeah, so the Triumph 19, really reliable, great shoe for comfort, cushioning, durability, all that sort of stuff. ASICS Nova Blast 2 for versatility, bit of speed, bit more fun i enjoy this shoe i think it's really nice to run in i like that bounce i like my bouncy cushioning and my softness so yeah um good option if you're looking for something that can do a lot more and uh, can tick a lot of boxes so that's it from me looking at the Saucony triumph 19 versus the asic nova blast 2 thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon and check out the channel for all the other videos we've got from the latest road and trail shoes and as well as headphones and watches out at the moment. And if you've got any questions about either of these shoes or anything else we talk about on the channel, please leave us a comment below. Thanks a lot, see you soon.